My name is Bu Gyeom Kim from Seoul National University. This study will propose algorithms to extend the coverage of network card K. Network card K uses multiple representations to reduce the residual errors caused by spatial decoration errors for users within the station network. The distance between stations is limited to 100 km, which represents the coverage of network card K. So the coverage of network card K can be considered limited to 100 km. In this study, we propose algorithms for network card K coverage extension. The largest error source of residual error is ionospheric delay. So the first proposed method is using ionospheric free combination measurement for integer ambiguity resolution. The next large error source is tropospheric delay. So the second proposed method is using creating based weight tensor for considering the spatial characteristics of tropospheric delay. In detail, the algorithm for using GPS LNS to dual frequency measurement involves using the Mabel Urbana measurement to determine the wide range of the ambiguity, and the ionospheric free combination measurement to determine the final single frequency ambiguity. In the process of applying the non dispersive map corrections, which includes the tropospheric delay errors, the creating based weighting tensor is used. For a detailed explanation of the creating based weighting tensor, please refer to the previous study. The weightings for combining map corrections are calculated and used by considering the variogram according to the weather conditions. To test the feasibility of the proposed method, a network was constructed using NOAA's stations and network RTK was applied to. A rainy day was selected to account for the extreme tropospheric variation. As the first results, the residual error of the ionospheric free combination measurement was analyzed. The application of the proposed method confirmed that the residual errors were at the sentient level. And this is sufficient for surface ambiguity resolution and sentient level precise positioning. The following results are obtained by resolving the ambiguities using random method. All users demonstrate that the high performance in ambiguity resolution, confirming the feasibility of the sentient level position. This suggested that using the proposed method, network RTK is expected to be feasible even in the extended network with stations distance over 100 km. Due to the time constraint, many details have been omitted. If you are interested in this study, please refer to the published paper for more information.